What's the biz, everybody? It's your boy, Vicar Maker, a.k.a. D'Ansley, and I'm here to give you some true shit. Today, I want to uh, take a look at the uh, at a 1-4 scale Aerith statue released by Creation Studio. It's basically Aerith in what looks like her Walmart attire laying on the uh, Hardy Daytona. The dress she's wearing does resemble the, uh, the red dress the red dress but here it looks more pink than it does red and for some reason her boobs are not only given more or more detailed than before they're also much bigger than they usually are now us as final fantasy fans should already be used to seeing tifa sexualized a lot by these third party st uh, statue companies by now but whenever they try to do the same to Aerith. It just doesn't work as well. I feel like this doesn't go well with Aerith's character at all. Sure, you can definitely make the argument that this doesn't work for either characters, but I feel, but I feel it's uh, it'd be a bit more awkward for Aerith in particular. What now? With that said, I still don't think it's nowhere near as lewd as as the uh, as the other stage st uh, FF7 uh, statue we've seen so far. And it's still a nicely done uh, sculpted uh, piece. It does have a cast off feature, so you can display her in, in the nude if you want. You're also given the option to purchase her in the dress or, or in her uh, underwear. As I said before, the cast off has never tickled my fancy, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, it's already sold out on the Fnatic uh, anime, uh, anime store, but you can still purchase it on other sites like eBay, uh, uh, HWS Houses, or Favor uh, G GK. Regardless of where you, uh, uh, where you choose to buy it, it'll be pretty damn expensive. To be perfectly honest, I feel like Jesse would have been a bit a, a better fit for this statue and she wouldn't even need to wear a dress she could she could have she could have been in her avalanche gear in fact thanks to chapter four from the remake there's there's been some fan art of jesse on a motorcycle i guess they went with uh Arif and uh because let's let's face it despite the fact that jesse has uh, uh, recently gained popularity thanks to the remake she's still nowhere near as popular or as iconic as tifa or Aerith. so they went with with who they know a lots of people will pay money on and instead of using the same uh motorcycle from chapter four they went with, they went with the, uh, the Hardy Daytona because, again, it's iconic. And they know lots of people will buy it since it's known simply as Cloud's motorcycle. But if you ask me, if they had gone with Jesse, I'd almost seriously consider pre-ordering it because, like I said, like I said, it actually would make more sense if it was her instead of Aerith. I wouldn't mind owning a Jesse statue for a change. I, I, I've already uh, pre-ordered so many Tifas at this point, as well as an Air uh, piece from the F4 Studio diorama. So getting FF7 Remake's uh, third best girl would have been a really nice change of pace. On a side note, uh, Square Enix did reveal that play like that the Play Arts Kai line is making figurines of Jesse, but wait, there's more. You can you can even uh, get a bundle of Jesse, Cloud, and the bike together. Never, I've never been interested in the in the in the pack in the uh, Play Arts Kai figures, but I do want to get a Jesse piece. And I'll admit, this doesn't this doesn't look uh, look bad. If I, if I were ever to get a figurine just for the purpose of doing various poses and face expressions with, with, uh, with then it probably would, would be for her. I did say that uh, I, I hoped uh, someday either Square or any of these uh, third party companies make a Jesse statue, preferably with her riding the bike. Well, close enough. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, 
hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like these. And most importantly, hit the notif notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I post these videos. With that said, stay beast.